this element is undefined of course so now inside the favorites when i handle the save we will no longer dispatch that message but we can change the color of our um, attribute we can do that by calling a callback function so this dot change color callback and we are going to execute that in the init variables we will receive the context i'm just uh doing this on the fly so as soon as i remember something i do something um as soon as i as i think about something i'm just doing so you can see some kind of approach you can have your own of course so we will also give from the books a function there there is change color it will execute this change color so console log change color will an async i don't want to be async so let's try to see if we can get the um, change color message yes so it's executing and now we need to uh, have some information here so we want to receive the book id and we are uh, i'm using that way but you can think your own it's just an example so you can do like const doc uh, current book equals to this dot uh books data dot find and inside we want the book where the book dot book id is equals to the book id we are we will going to receive in this uh call so if if we find something or if we not re find something we simply do nothing otherwise we will say that the current book dot heart color it will be red okay now we need to receive the book id and how can we get that we are putting the favorites dialog with a callback and one something is clicked so we can put like this dot book id so book id this dot book id and when this is uh, equals to event dot detail dot value that is what we are receiving the id of the list but we want the id of the book instead and i guess we are receiving the id of the book the id of the book and i'll add to list okay so we grab that in the book id give that we give that here and from we can we can do that right there if i'm not mistaken so we don't want to pass that but we want to give that this dot book id so we don't need to put that and let me see if we are receiving the book id uh, 
when I press here, save. Okay, this book's data is undefined. I need to bind to this keyword as well. Because I'm getting back to my current view model. Undefined. This find is not the function. Of course it's not. I did to execute that to get the array, but why the book ID is not defined? Okay, that's why. Um, I want it to be an observable, so I can change it. No. So I give the this book ID and I want to get this value. Let me see if now I can get something. Okay, we are getting something. We can put that. So execute and save. We are getting the six, but we are changing nothing. I suppose we are not getting this current book for some reason. Book book ID equals to the book ID that we received. Maybe it's the type. One is string, another is a number. So let me see. Yeah. Undefined. We get the book dot book ID. Oh, it's ID, not book ID. That's why. So let me try to see that now. And tada! <laughs> All of that work. I know. I know. It's just uh, uh, a way of mixing a lot of things so you can see how uh, you can do uh, or how you can use all of these ways or all of these components together by using this dialog so we learned how to uh, build a dialog and interact uh, using the OJ model to load this uh, dialog as unique so you are only defining this dialog once and then we are interacting with multiple custom composites and we can change the, the color by changing an observable. Of course, you can also have another type of logic like you can bind uh, an ID here um, to, to the span and uh, according let's say to the id of the the, the the book and then here we do the document dot get element by id uh, by the id with the, that book so uh, i guess it's better if i i put that here like so give that an id and i'm using javascript here so like heart dash and then we concatenate the string with the book to, with the properties dot book id okay and then instead of changing that with that logic let me put everything on comments you will just need to have the document that scale element by id then you should use the heart dash <laughs> not here of course sorry for that and then the book id ok 
here execute that because it is an observable so you can send it uh, and uh, it can change so we are binding that directly we could change send it to the um, favorites here initialize that as an observable and uh, giving it here in the execution but to show you the power of the bind keyword you can simply bind the scope and also give the parameters you want in this case it is an observable and it will basically the bind keyword it will prepare the this function with this scope and this argument the book id the, that is an observable and as soon as it is, is executed it will be executed with the, this keyword that is our books view model and the observable we created to hold the book ID. So here we can like style dot color equals to blue to be different. And if I save the no, <sighs> something went wrong. Yeah. So if I open that, it's still loading. And now is blue. It's a uh, ugly blue, but you can see that you can also do that this way. So you can use observables. You can grab the, the element with the document dot get element by ID method. You do as you wish, of course. Uh, I'll leave the, um, the this logic. So here we are using the the array of data that is the books data we receive from the service and we are changing or the, the array by getting by creating a new property the heart color and give it an observable so we can load that in the custom book view pointing to that attribute so we need to uh, declare that also in the books when we give the attributes to the custom book composite so we are setting an observable so we we can then change the observable directly this books data is linked we made a bind between the this array and the, the custom component so if you change this books data if you change an observable inside it will trigger the change inside the custom uh, book composite 